Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. We've got to help the DJ. That's top priority. But also we need some points. We got it. We got a little bit of work to do. Uh, Bradford, Campbell, Bianchi, Hernandez, Mostafa, the DJ of course, and Betty. Uh, let's get rock and roll. We got 12 turns to do it. And what's the best path? No idea. Not a clue. Uh, but we're going to send Bradford in there to try and find one. Let's start here. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay, I kind of like sometimes we're just like right into the... Right off the bat, if you know what I'm saying. Sometimes I like it. Other times, less so. What do we have? Uh, AP rounds... Not bad here. But I think in this scenario, we go up top. So we have some cover. What's my biggest worry in order of priority here? It's likely this guy. At least get him into phase two. So he doesn't blow us up. And then maybe even the Viper. This guy, he's likely going to do the uh, pistons or whatever from above. And then we can move. And then this is likely a bubble. And if that overlaps with the pistons, it's not as huge of an issue as uh, it could be. But we'll see. Let's start here. The AP rounds are going to come in pretty nice. Oh, with the crit. I like that. 50% to crit here as well. That's actually pretty outstanding. Uh, we've got blue screens here. Which would be awesome if we could below the cover of that codex. Uh, what do we have? We have justice to bring that codex out, but then it splits. I could just combat presence up here if we wanted. But I think we should be taking the, the double shots if we can. Dragon rounds here. We hopefully finish this guy. Alright. Now, we could use those blue screen rounds here as well. If we wanted to do such a thing. Because I'm thinking what we could do is probably send Bradford in. Oh, I can't reach him. I can't reach the uh, the Viper. Hmm. All right, let's take this then. Weapon running low. Now, of course, we do have. Stasis. We've got the Shredder Gun, which I think we should probably hold. I could Inspire so that Bradford could get in there and kill the Viper. I think that might be okay. Moving. Oh, can we not see Bradford? Oh my god, really? He's right there. <sighs> you know, sometimes the best thought out plans, they just, they aren't going to happen. Alright, well, I could come in here for some damage and then a parry. I guess... Me running and gunning doesn't help a lot here. I could do something like pulling back to this side and maybe taking a longer range shot with the high ground advantage. Okay, I'm going to bring Bianchi in here. I'm going to hopefully finish off this shell. Big 
Maybe we just do a stasis play here to buy us a little bit of time. I'm going to send DJ inside for a sec. If I go in for the rend here... It's not bad. It's too bad I can't get in there, but... So we parry that. I think... Hmm. I wonder if I gave her another turn to hit... Oh, but I bet you can't see it. No, can't see it. My Lanta. Okay, well, I'm going to go up then. Seventy nine is not terrible. Oh, there it is. There it is, baby. All right. Now. Will stasis the codex? Likely have to deal... I think I called it pistons, but uh, have to deal with blazing pinions here. Or he's just going to come in, but we're parried. So that's fine. They come for me. Okay, so I'll admit, it was probably a dumb idea to go by myself, but what were the chances of you guys tagging along to go look for my records? Slim to none. But you gotta think long term. I'm looking out for our future. We can't afford it. No, I I actually agree with you on this one, buddy. We cannot afford to lose the music of our past. That would be a travesty. What's going on with this bull pup? It really needs either an extended mag or an auto loader or something of the sort. I think we go for the same thing. This world is ours. There's a chance we can generate focus on this. Worst case scenario, we can grab this one next time. Because I think we have like a 33% chance on one of these. Yeah. So far, no luck. Actually, I should have maybe held off on that parry. Because we might just kill the rest of these guys. Bradford's looking pissed off as ever. I like it. Okay, so... It's a bit annoying. Uh, we can just soul fire this if we really want. We don't have stocks anywhere, do we? Scope and repeater. One down, thousands to go. Alright, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna play it safe here. Roger that. Just go for the soul fire. All things considered pretty good. We wasted that parry a little bit. We could have gotten uh, the energy right off the bat. The 
The signal in this area was already down, but the chrysalids were still coming out of the woodwork. I didn't give a damn about the DJ's records, but that didn't stop him from ignoring the fact that we were out here protecting him while he nursed his alleged back injury. It's, I like how it's his alleged back injury. I'm going. Go, I'll start go, moving go. these guys in. Nessie, you as well. Oh yeah. Attack on sight. Let's get down to it. Uh, we have an auto loader here, right? Yeah, we do. Scanning. Yeah, you know, I wish I could help you guys out, but the recoil from those guns will oh. just tear up. Oh. Yeah, no, we wouldn't want that. I mean, maybe. If we find an ice pack or something, I'll be able to jump back into the fight. Doesn't hurt to keep an eye out anyway. I'm just trying to find... this. Very nice. Okay. Bradford, it's time. To Blade Storm. Everything. It'd be really nice if we could pull off a face-off here. Uh, but I don't think I can get in... Close enough to make it happen. So in this situation, I might as well just hang back and take the shots. Or the shot. I got a piece. Moving down. Let's get Lobo in here. Now we may want to do an interrupt. But I'm not sure exactly if that's the play. I have vision from here. I wonder if it's worth firing the shredder gun. It isn't because it won't hit anything. So problem solved. That's great. These are the only two we see, but... That did absolutely dick all. <laughs> okay, great. We're gonna aid protocol uh, Bradford. We'll prepare an overwatch as well. I think I'm going to do this. And... I think we weaken the first two. Maybe even get the car going so that these guys can't make it. Ooh. We more than got the car going. Okay. The biggest of booms. Oh, they're gonna make the nests. Okay. I kind of admire that quality in them. Their natural, like, desire to breed. That's a problem for sure. Second problem. And they're experiencing problems also, aid the protocol, strong. Okay, I see how it is. Still up. Here. 
Well, that's just great. Okay, we're getting a little unlucky here. A little unlucky. It's not something we can't turn around. Like I said earlier, the DJ was essentially a walking target in combat. He refused to even pick up a gun, <laughs> much less fight with one. Yeah. The best we Classic could hope DJ. For was that he kept his head down and his mouth shut until we reached the evac point. Okay, let's get a reload in for free. It's not going to kill. I think we should focus on the other. May as well take a guy down from full health instead of this guy that we can kill with others. Man, I really want to run in here, but my god, is that ever going to be a disaster. Is it clear? I think we take our two shots here, maybe even just one. Nice, right in the Chrissies. Man down. Thanks. In a way, I kind of feel safer with this gap. I don't want to go too far. I really don't want to run into another group here. Hey okay, Bradford, we need to talk. Go medical. We need to have a serious sit down chat about your performance. Okay, we're pulling out the repeater. Interesting approach. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, we'll take shots on this thing, but we can't kill it. Keep her firing from back here right now. I mean, she can pull this off. What a and if she triggers something else, then she can come back, but... Actually looks all right. I think maybe we can start trying to move on this. Got focus all over the battlefield. Let's get right in here. This thing's going to pop soon. I don't know if we need to put ammo into it. Come get some. 
We can just maybe kill whatever comes out. Overwatch. The DJ is oh, hello. At least he felt some contrition for his mistakes. And Overwatch and a blade storm. Right Looks like our pep talk worked. I wasn't ready to let him off the hook just yet, though. We were still in the thick of his mess. I'm sure there's going to be more. Oh, there is. We got three Chrissies guarding the exit. Make that four. Make that four. Miscalculated slightly. Could be worse. Eight to ten, but this more likely to kill. Okay, Bradford, I'm, I'm being serious now. I'm being serious. That's yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, that is on you, actually. Our sniper's so far back now. This is not awesome. A useful aid. We can grenade, and I'm going to. And then we can take a shot as well. I think stasis might be back up. We might need to stasis, like, one of them. Or maybe we just shredder gun. And hopefully hit our blade storms. I think we aid protocol again. Shredder gun right through Bradford? Not bad. Tempting at this point. <laughs> Jesus. Shields. Now it's very likely that they could go on either of these targets as well, but hoping that's not the case. You never know. Let's be cool here. An overwatch is possible, I guess. Come get some. Okay, he's gonna... He's gonna spawn. I'm actually okay with that. If this hits, it's big. Nice, nice. Now we just need a little, little kick from the blade storm. There it is, buddy. Good job. Good job, Mr. Bradford. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're just lucky you weren't around for some of my earlier experiments. A green plug here, red one there, some other alien stuff. Yeah, you could say I had a few close calls. I'm guessing I won't be having kids anytime soon either if you catch my drift. I'll tell you what, <laughs> I know how to put a ham jam and a womb bone anytime. That's good. Hmm, now. Interesting options. I think I'm going to go up here. I 
There it is, baby. Negative on ammo. Nessie can probably see this one close. Yeah, this is fine. Might even pick up the kill. Not even close. I think I got a piece. You did. It was admirable. All right, I'll go. We'll have Nikita grab this. I will tear you apart. Everyone else, we're gonna move in to deal with the other two. They're dropping focus all over the place today. Uh, you know what? Let's combat presence. Let's give him another shot. Pick up the kill. Oh, he's out of ammo. You know what? It's fine. DJ, get you in close. Let's start just clear? moving these guys. I'm running low on ammo. There wasn't a whole lot of time. To get out of there, and there was no way we could fend off this many chrysalids forever. If we didn't keep moving, there was a risk of being overrun entirely. I actually think we probably could fend them off for a really long time. Okay, I have to get her moving in, so hopefully. I'm gonna send him right in. Ushered the DJ to safety. No thanks to him. Locked and loaded. Now the goal here is how do we bring all of these guys forward enough to kill this guy and then just run our sniper like dash for a bit. Campbell, let's motor. Rolling out. Moving out. Out of runs. Yeah, let's rend it. Pay the price. Why not? Oh, are you serious? This whole thing done did that? Did she fall? Okay, good. No idea just how bottomless the supply of chrysalids was out there. Wouldn't you rather deal with this now than later, anyway? But there could be thousands of those things in the ocean, maybe tens. Of so I think we grapple here just to make, just to get closer. You wouldn't even know they were out there. I mean, you could almost say, "I helped you guys out." Really? Moving to position. I hope it's worth it. Oh, it will be. As you order. I'm ready. I'm ready. 
non-evade detection. On overwatch, maintaining this. Alright, we're out next turn. I'll keep an eye on it. Let's see if another one pops up. The more he nope. talked, the more I realized this guy had a few screws loose. <laughs> I was starting to worry That's so good. ideas might actually sink in. We were all pretty tired, and we didn't have the energy to think his nonsense through. Falling back as well. That's what we're blaming it on. I'm out of here. I'm okay with it. Getting out of here. Just in time. Tactical retreat. Evac confirmed. Okay. I could have gone way worse. Didn't. That was nice. The chrysalids don't stop until they're dead. Fortunately, we made it clear with the DJ alive and ready to steer us towards more problems. Overlooking the battlefield, absolutely. Power pose in the front, okay. We Ooh. through the settlement and salvaged what we could. We were slowly piecing together some decent gear. I think we gotta take this with Bladestorm. Carefully. We ran into this uh, last time. Okay, so now we've got Untouchable, which is huge. I'm gonna remember that we have that as well. Uh, the Soul Steel and the Domination, which is also really nice. Uh, is it possible? I don't know. It's not looking too good. But we'll see. You never know. I don't know what the later missions are worth. To recap what we've learned so far, the DJ had taken alien technology, screwed around with it, and accidentally created chrysalid lures. <laughs> <laughs> that he then placed along the coast, uh. which attracted hordes of these monsters from the ocean of all places. This is when I almost lost it. Because <laughs> this is when we found out about the DJ's boat docked outside another city further up the coast. On board was his computer, scheduled to broadcast the latest pre-recorded installment of Pirate Radio. What choice did we have? Lovely. We set off for yet another target. We barely had any time to reach the boat before that transmission was scheduled to inadvertently call in even more chrysalids to the shore. There was no way to approach near the docks, so we had to work our way through the streets, with the DJ giving us directions over the comm link. We're talking a lot about chrysalids. I'm wondering if we should just be hyper-aggressive with Bradford? Because... We need points, man. We need a lot of points, but 